Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do a review of a case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This case is brought to us by Subcase. So this case um, happens to be the Unicorn Beetle series, as you can see here. Um, it comes with a with a holster. Uh, this holster reminds me a lot of the holster that you see in the OtterBox series. It's a very sturdy holster made out of some very, um, I would say, thick plastic, um, thicker than some of the other uh, holsters that I've seen out in the market. And it's a type of holster that as you insert your phone, it's going to be, a, even if you could hold it on your hip like this, if you have it this way, you're going to slide it in sideways. So it's not a slide down, but a sideways slide. It does feature um, this, uh, let's move this around for a second. It's kind of hard, but you can rotate it to have it um, on your belt clip like this. Um, or what you can do is rotate it the other way. Uh, so if you want to have it um, vertical like that. So horizontal or vertical modes are also supported. It does not feature a stand. So uh, the OtterBox series, as you turn it in an angle, you could use this as a stand. In this case, um, you don't really have that. So now focusing on the case itself, the case um, actually provides a built-in screen protector. So you have a screen protector and then you have a hard shell case. Uh, let me go ahead and take it apart so that you can see what's involved in the case. And this is very similar to some of the other cases that we've seen on the market where it's made out of two components. Here is a TPU type material, but the back is a hard plastic. Um, you have I would say some really good bumper material here on the corners as you can see here nice bumper material and then you have all the appropriate cutouts for your for your phone which we're going to see how things align uh, once we insert our phone into the case the other component that you have here is your screen protector so uh, built-in screen protector with all the appropriate cutouts and alignments and this is going to again reduce the need for you to have a screen protector on your phone now typically what I found is screen protectors if you have one uh, they typically work with these cases that have the extra screen protector however if you do go with a glass screen protector I find that the glass screen protectors do tend to raise the screen a little bit I'm going to do the demonstration with a Note 4 that has a glass, tempered glass screen protector on it, and we'll see how that reacts. Let's get our phone in the case so we can see how all the cutouts align. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your phone um, and you're going to place it in the front cover. And all you're going to do is just uh, snap this in easily. So it's going to snap in just like that. And you'll notice that it aligns really nice. I'm going to remove this uh, plastic that's on the screen. There's actually an inner screen protector in there, which I forgot to take off. Let's go ahead and take that one off, too. So we'll just remove this for a second. Remove that inner screen protector or film. And now that we've got the film off, we'll go ahead and place our note inside of it. So you'll notice right there, um, your actual note fits in nicely. Everything seems to align nicely. And now the next step is, and I do have a glass screen protector on my note, so we'll see if that interferes at all. Sometimes, um, you know, if you're like me, you may have multiple cases. If you go on a hike, you may want to use a, um, a heavy-duty case. And then if you're working in the office, you may use another case if you're going to go for a run. So I like switching up cases. So uh, that's why I don't really remove my screen protectors because not every case I have has a screen protector. So um, as you can see right there, all you have to do is once you snap it in, you just make sure that all the corners come in nicely um, and align them. And now um, the phone is inside the case. I can tell that because I have a glass screen protector, um, that it does raise the screen a little bit, but it's uh, or the protector that the case uh, comes with. But I don't see it impacting anything at this time. So what we're going to do now is take a closer look at all the cutouts. Uh, looking at the cutouts, you notice um, here. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the uh, volume rocker. Um, easily accessible, and you can see right there that you have the plus and minus sign on the side. You have this grip. Uh, that gives you some traction so you're not going to, doesn't feel slippery at all. Even though this does have a satin finish to it, it really is not uh, slippery. You'll notice that I talked about the bumper protection. Notice how the slide goes up to this area and then this bumps out. So this is going to give you the ultimate protection if your phone does fall. Same thing happens on, on this side. On the top here, you have a port covering up your headphone jack. And when you open it, the nice thing is that it's generous enough so that you can still fit those, those right angle headphones. So that's nice. Uh, and you saw I closed it right there. Here you have your IR blaster, and it looks like it's, al it's aligning well um, on our phone, so no problem there. Um, and the front, you can see your LED 
um, is visible right there. Uh, you do have your your speaker and then your other sensors that deal with motion and whatnot for your for your actually note. Camera aligns well, um, no issues there, and you can see that my screen protectors uh, or the glass tempered glass screen protectors there as well. On the bottom, we have two holes for your pinhole mics. These mics are new for the Note 4 because of some of the uh, recording features in the conference recording mode that you can have. And if I open up this port here, you'll notice that my micro USB charging port is easily available there without any problem. On this side, I'll push that back in, we have our stylus and I really like that it has this 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 um, protection here because I'm able to close it and I don't really have to worry about my stylus if I'm going on a hike or I'm going out somewhere where it's rugged it getting lost because it's covered up nicely. Um, focusing now on the back you'll notice that your camera is there's some good camera depth here you notice here's my camera and notice where my finger is so there's some depth right there you really can't see the camera it's not flush so if you do put your phone down you don't have to worry about that you do notice that and let me point this out right here that there are some bumpers see those bumpers right there those are going to keep um, in addition to having um, the lens uh, and the cover being higher than your lens, you have these little bumpers that are coming out that are going to allow to push the case up and your phone so that you don't have to worry about a wet surface or anything like that. This is not a waterproof case by any way. This is really a heavy duty shock uh, resistance case. So that's uh, a nice feature that you have right there. Uh, on the this side right here we have our power button and you can see that that's easily accessible and if I press and turn on my phone you can see that uh, my phone is on and if I use my finger to swipe without any problem. So um, no problems there when it comes to uh, the fingerprint scanner, especially if you scan uh, your finger, register it the way I show on one of my videos. So this was the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 case, subcase, a heavy duty case with a holster. And just uh, before we conclude the video, uh, let me just show you how this, uh, how your phone fits in the case or the, the actual holster itself. So all you do is you start with one of the corners and then what you do is you just press in just like this and it will snap in so now you have a very rugged case for your note to remove it you just lift this lip slightly and then your phone will come out just like that so once again that was our review of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 case subcase um, available on Amazon from Brillo Tech and if you have any comments or questions about this case, please leave them on the YouTube channel. I will include the link. And as you can see, there's really uh, no impact to screen protectors or any other type of screen protectors, be it glass or film, when using this case. Thanks again for watching.